and uh, where I will fight, you know, perhaps boxing or, or K1 or, you know, I don't really have, a, I don't lack any offers, you know, I have a lot of offers on the table uh, and, and some very good financial offers that, you know, for more money than I'm actually currently getting in the UFC. Uh, I mean, of course, UFC, this is the premier organization, this is where the toughest matchups are and this is what I'm always after. So, of course, it's a place where I want to be, but, you know, I was kind of prepared that if I was let go, you know, I had a plan of action in place and I wasn't going to dwell on it. I wasn't going to, you know, be crying or begging or anything like that. I was ready to move on and, and tackle the next problem and see, you know, see what happens next. Well, 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 you know well, what I'm well, saying? Well, yeah, that? no, 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 absolutely. So the GSP one, yeah. um, I actually tore the cartilage in my ribs the week before the fight. So it was the final training session. We should have <coughs> done the sparring session. This sounds like an excuse. I didn't talk about it at the time because, you know, you just sounds like you're making excuses. But the reality was on the Friday before we flew to New York, um, you know, Dean Amasinger, you know who that yes, is? He, he yeah, was yeah, in yeah, the so, top so, series. Yeah, well. so Dean was out there. He was helping me a little bit. And he shot him for a double leg takedown. Like his life depended on it. Ran me across the octagon. I went down and he landed on top of my ribs. Generally, that would be fine, but uh, as soon as I went down, I felt something rip. So I couldn't move, I couldn't rotate, couldn't do anything. So I got to New York and I was having treatment on it every day. It was, it was an absolute nightmare. So people said to me, they said, uh, you looked a little stiff in there, Mike. I was like, yeah, I was stiff for very good reason. You did look I, your normal salary. Yeah, no, because I tore the cartilage yeah. in my ribs, but it was a big fight, you know, a lot of money on the line. So, and you know, as a was fighter- Was that your biggest money fight of your life? Yeah, for sure it was, yeah. And as a fighter, you still think you can do it, you know? And yeah, I, I, it, it wasn't my best performance. It didn't go my way, but uh, not taking anything away from George. God bless him. Good. Floyd, May yeah. Floyd Mayweather does not have the balls at all or the willingness to take a risk to come into the UFC and fight Conor McGregor. He would never do that. That fight would be over in 30 seconds and he knows it. Now, Conor McGregor, I call him the unicorn. There's nobody like him in the fight game. I'm telling you, there isn't. And uh, he's, he's a special individual.